Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, today we're going to talk about the D word. Um, what D word could you possibly mean, Karen? Oh my gosh. Um, deployment. Yes. So, I'm smiling, but um, we are now actually a couple of days away from Matt leaving. Mm -hmm. um, obviously this video, video won't be like up to date, but we're a couple of days from Matt leaving. Um, his stuff is all packed and he's ready to go. Um, well, yeah. Well, yeah. He's not ready. But My stuff is ready to go. Yeah. Um, and it honestly never gets easier. Um, he was supposed to leave actually today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but they, um, what is it called? Like, it's, they changed some stuff, mm -hmm. so he's leaving a little bit later. Um, well, two days later. Um, just, I feel like just to torture us. Sometimes when, well, when you are a military wife, you know what I mean by you just want to hurry up and get over with. You just want them to just leave already just so you can start the countdown and stuff. Um, so this is our, from the Marine Corps, it's, and this, it's, how many? This is six. Yeah. Um, and so, like I said, we're not new to this, but it's still not easy. Every time you go through it, it's just like, oh my gosh, like you're gonna miss so much. Um, granted, and thankfully, he's not going to anywhere like a combat zone or anything like that. Um, so we will have like connection and like be able to talk and stuff. Um, it's just like he's going to work. Um, but really, 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 really far away. <laughs> um, and I remember, like, the very first deployment, we were doing the whole email. Yeah. To, like, I don't even know how I got through that, you guys. Like, I couldn't contact him at all. Mm -hmm. um, he only could contact me, and it wouldn't be through email. And so I would, like, he would have to sit there and read essays and theses of emails for me. Yeah. And I just had Kim Courtney. She was a newborn. Natalie was, like, one. Um, it was really tough, so I'm definitely thankful that technology and stuff has advanced. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, there was what? there was like three computers we could use. Yeah, I was only able to get on those like once a week or so. But so I'm I'm definitely thankful. Um, it's just still gonna be hard because Matt and I are partners and we do so much stuff together. Mm -hmm. But such is life. Um, I'm gonna have to roll with it, and I know that I'll be stronger. Um, in the end. Yeah. So, what do you have there? Um, so, we got some questions. Uh, questions military spouses are tired of answering. So, let's find out what you have to say. Mm. How do you do it? I could never be with someone who's gone all the time. That's not really a question. I guess the question is, how do you do it? So, how do you do it? Be with somebody who's gone all the time. Um, I don't know. It's it's something that I hate to sound like, oh, you stand up for it. We just get used to it. And I think just as people who work, like regular people who work and um, who aren't affiliated with the military, their husbands go to work or their wives go to work and, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and I get a surprising amount of time off. Yeah. Um, leave is pretty pretty consistent and you know we get four days every once in a while yeah so they're not gone all the time but yeah. like i don't know maybe other military guys are but he's not yeah um i hear that a lot of military couples get married for money again that's not a question but how do you <sighs> feel about that i feel that um yawn um i don't know some probably do i sure didn't yeah, I've known a couple, um, there's a word for it, they call it contract marriages. Mm -hmm. um, I know guys who have married, like, like the, I know a guy, I don't remember his name, it was a long time ago, back in the Marine Corps. Um, he got married to a girl who was like his best friend since they were like four years old. Mm -hmm. um, she was going to college in California, and he would just send her like $300 a paycheck. And that was their agreement was that was the way that their marriage worked and he collected all the benefits, all the stuff like that. 
I just don't think it's it's um not safe, but it's just not right to do something like I don't know, it's just dumb. Yeah, and I mean, eventually that relationship's gonna have to end. Mm, I don't know. It's just not no. smart to do something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, it does happen, but not in this relationship. You okay? Mm-hmm. I'm tired, but yeah. Hmm. Um, are you going to follow them when you deploy? Or when they deploy? When I deploy? I'm not going to... I can't go with him now. No. That's not the way that deployments work. Right. Um, Some people do go and visit. Um, it will cost a lot of money, and mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. Depends on where I'm going. Things yeah. like that. Um, how How long will you be here? Hmm? So... I think they're referring to, like, if somebody out in town is like, hey, how long are you going to be in Texas for? Forever? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. I I only went back home um, when he deployed 10 first. years ago. Yeah, the very first time when I was pregnant with Courtney. And because I was, like, eight, nine months pregnant and I had Natalie, um, I still had my own apartment um, and... So did everything on my own, no fault to anybody else. I just wanted to be by myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and I couldn't wait to go back to other military people. Yeah. Um, I think also it's asking, like, how long will we be at each duty station? Oh. And it's generally, like, two, to two, three years. Uh, yeah, two and a half to three years. Yeah. So. Um, will you be home for the holidays? What home? <laughs> this is our home. Right. I'm not I I'm not going back to New York for holidays though. No. Um I think that I think that's more of a question for younger couples. Yeah. People without kids when their family is still the family back home. Yeah. Some people do still go home. I mean if we lived like we did in Baldwinsville and our hometown was like two hours away I would, but Yeah. Maybe if I got stationed up at Fort Drum. Uh uh-uh. uh, heck no. No. I don't want to go there, but... Okay. Um, when is homecoming? I'd love to be there when they get back. Um, so this is people saying this to me. Mm-hmm. Um, technically, you can't say. Yeah, technically, you can't say. I probably say. Um, I don't... But nobody goes to Matt's homecoming but my kids and I. Yeah. Um, I think my in-laws went to the very first one. The first, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. grandma. Grandma was there too. Yeah, I think they were trying to come to the second one too, but they, their plane came late or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, now it's just like my my kids and I go to the homecoming. Mm. What would you say to a another military spouse? My boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife has been gone for a long time, or I'm sorry, has been gone for a week. I'm so lonely. I'm sorry that you're lonely. I don't. People do that all the time where they're like, "Oh, boohoo, that your your person, significant other, has only been on for a week." I don't care. It's just like they miss them. I don't. It's so frustrating. People do that. Like, don't try to diminish how they feel because, like, he's gonna be gone for a very long mm-hmm. time. Like, I don't. M- like, when you miss somebody and you love somebody, you're gonna miss them, and so I feel for them too. Mm-hmm. Um. I wish I was married to someone in the military with all the benefits you get. Mm, Sorry. Yeah. Um, I think the whole point of that question is just talk about the benefits we get, but I mean, it's not like my health care is free. I still pay for it. Right. You know, the benefits are good. Mm -hmm. We live in a, we live in a nice house, but... I, I work yeah. for this house. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think that's the last question. What was it? That was fun. Yay. It was an interesting tag. I know. So, um, now that that's over, just, <laughs> that kind of helped, like, to not make it all sad and, like, you know, mm-hmm. depressing. Um, but just keep our kids in your prayers. Um, I don't know. I think that's it. I don't want to like get too like sappy on here, but yeah, just keep our kids in your prayers. Um, I will try to 
not try I will like like vlog more I don't like of course I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go through the process and the phases of like not shutting down but like I get really more quiet I think I said this in the other like video one of the other videos that I get quiet um right I just yeah. like shut down and stop talking um felt like I'm going to that point um but I'm gonna eventually come and do videos and like update you guys. I do have things planned for the kids this summer. Um, we're doing, we're going back to surprise family event Saturdays, um, chat of the week. I have a lot of things planned for them. Um, and, you guys should see the list. <laughs> um, and um, family's coming back in town for the 4th of July, so it's gonna be really, really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just gonna try to keep them busy. Um, of course, we're gonna have our moments where we cry and we get sad and all this stuff. I do have amazing support that I can lean on. Um, Matt's gonna be there, you know, to help support. Um, and I'm just gonna have to make it work for my kids because they deserve to have a great fun summer. Um, and like I said, in the end, we will be all stronger because of it. Right? Yeah. Anything you want to say? How do you feel? Well, anyway. Um, it's part of the job, so I'm kind of used to it, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I would much rather be home. Um, I'm going to miss out on a lot of things going on with the kids, a lot of things going on with you. Um, the, you know, the summer, it's a great time to spend with the kids and I'm gonna miss out on all of that. Uh, Natalie's first day of school, mm -hmm. or first day of middle school, Kinsley's first day of pre-K, all of that stuff, and that's gonna make me sad. Um, but I know they're in, I know they're in good hands, so. Um, and plus, technology's amazing now and I'm gonna be able to communicate, we'll be able to, to FaceTime and all that stuff, so I'll stay as up to date as, as possible, but. Yeah. I'd still rather be here. I know. Um, but we will keep you guys updated. And um, I will show you guys like pictures and stuff of Matt. <laughs> like I think I did last time on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, and update you guys on how he's doing. Um, he's excited to... We, we also have goals as well for when he deploys. Um, he's excited to start working out again mm -hmm. and being fit. Um, as he said, Kenzie is going to pre-K three. Um, Natalie's going to middle school. We have a fifth and second grader, so all the kids will be gone. Um, Kenzie will be going to uh, the elementary school, Courtney and Lucas's elementary school, and then Natalie will be going to the middle school. Yeah. Um, so they're all gonna be gone. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be very quiet and lonely, and I don't know. Um, I would love to try to find a part-time job, um, working at one of the kids' schools. Yeah. Um, I want to start working out as well and just focusing on myself, um, catching up with friends, coffee. It's, just, I don't know, it's just gonna be a wild, interesting rest of the year. We had an amazing start to this year, and I'm curious to see how it's going to end. Yeah. So, but I'll keep you guys updated and um, come hang out with us or me on Instagram. Uh, I think that's the most up to date you guys would be is on my Instagram page, not channel. Mm -hmm. um, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is going to be your very last time seeing, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be your last time seeing Matt on the channel. I'm so sad. Not forever. Yeah, it's not forever for the rest of this year. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That makes me sad when I say it. Um, but I will update you guys and I will see you in the next video.